So my buddy Greg got his hands on a 55 Ford wagon. I don't know the story, but yeah, there he is. He's coming over to, to show me the ride. Look at that. Uh, listen to it purr. You got Oliver with him? Let's go take a ride. Sweet mother of pearl! <laughs> Have you seen time? I've lost time. <laughs> I've gone back in it. You've gone back in time. Hey, Oliver. Coming in, Oliver. Oh, this is sweet. <laughs> oh, let's go. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. How you doing? Happy New Year. Great to see you. So you got to tell me the story. You just you just got a hankering for a classic, huh? Well, no, I've had this. I've had this. Oh, oh, I see. Um, I've played with old cars from the past. So you brought this from Charlotte. I had it up in Charlotte store for when I was gone in Panama. My friend was coming down to stay at my place for about a week. He's like, you want me to drive the car down and see if it was broke. I thought it was a Chevy at first glance. Nope, it's a Ford. Uh, yeah, man, I drove this across country in Washington. Wow. What, what, hey, buddy, what oh, model is it? It's a 55 Ford country sedan wagon. Country sedan wagon. Screaming good deal on it? Um, I did good. I did good. Yeah, as long as you don't have to do a, lot of, a whole lot of work. I've done a fair bit of TLC work. He did all the most of the mechanical stuff. So uh, he was pretty cool. Because when I told him what I was doing, he's like, well, I don't know about these tires. I'd already paid. We'd already negotiated the price. And uh, he put four brand new tires on. It's like, yeah, I was too sure. He just drove it around on, you know, Sundays. That's why he didn't have headlights and all that stuff. So a 351, huh? I think maybe from the 70s. Yeah. yeah. Get you a little de is that like a little desert bag? Oh, that's no, that's the uh, yeah. You got. You I actually thought have that a, was the old uh, cooler bag yeah, you put on your. There's still the foot pump that you, you actually foot pumped it. Uh huh. To make it spray. Uh, you'll have to see it at night. So I drilled out the nose cone and put a blue LED in there. The grills lit up with blue LEDs. <laughs> Where is the LED? In it's, here. It's right there. You stay there, Oliver. We're going to eat on the beach. Look at that exhaust. That's funny. Yeah, I have to warn people about backseat rides. Be careful when you get out. Country sedan. Yeah. Little one, four door, two seats. And then there was the ranch, which was just single two doors and just a second seat. This is for thumbnail. All right. So they're closed for the season for food. Somebody didn't stay in the car. Yeah. Ollie! Such a bad boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You were supposed to stay in the old so car. So I, uh, I didn't give you a stern enough to stay in the car, did I? So, so is this vinyl, Greg? No, it's 
spray paint uh, uh, rattle cans. <laughs> so I masked it all off. I did the flames myself. I like it. I think it's, it's uh, quaint. So this, obviously, wagons and sedans in that era had the same front clip. So the primer was the primer on the same front clips. For whatever reason, they used a brown primer. Whereas the primer for the back half of the whole wagon was a white primer. Uh, and the only part of the car that would have originally, only the window band would have been left uh, final paint white. The roof was blue. You can still see some of the blue there in the nice. drip rail. And so all the cars got spray painted white, and then they got their call out color, whichever they wanted. I'll tell you what's cool if you can't see the front one. Well, yeah, you can. You can barely see it through the rust there. But right here is the build number really? that was marked on the car. I can see. 719. So that told them what, what they were doing with this car to build it. That's cool as heck. How about that? Yeah. And I know you're worried out here at the beach with the salt yeah. here. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> sometimes things are what it are. So I, like, this spot is getting worse, so I'll, I'll scuff that down and shoot some clear on it. Yeah. Uh, That's from your days back in the gangland, huh? You know who that is, right? That's the president's plane. No, it's not. Yeah, that is. They, uh, you see the blue? Yeah. That's Air Force One when he's in it, and they practice landing at uh, at Wilmington Airport. That's one of their practice places. That was act. That's actually Air Force One when he's on it. Huh. Yeah. And look at the contour of the these windows that's yeah. awesome I mean it just makes more sense than that you know? look look through here this is clear lens up here so that's what's giving that lit uh, lit up oh I see I didn't even recognize that yeah, yeah but this makes more sense to me 1955 than that over there 1995 you know yeah, yeah. Just awesome yeah so my dad explained the history of the way the doors are cut out so after the war, you know, more and more women were driving, and uh, of course they still wore skirts. So it was for the ladies to be able to swing their legs out. Oh, I see. So when they go in, they sit here, legs in. Ah, think about that shit, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, take me to the sock hop. Take care. Thanks for the ride.